I will be showing you guys a Thanksgiving get ready with me. Um, I kind of filmed this video very much last minute, but it will be up for y'all on Thanksgiving. Hopefully, if I'm not too tired to edit it. But um, yeah, so happy Thanksgiving. I should have said that first. But um, yeah, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure that you click that subscribe button and notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. And join me and my babies because we did hear you okay and also follow me on all my social medias because i might drop some little thanksgiving pictures even though you know nobody's gonna be going nowhere for real because i'm pretty sure most families are like quarantining and stuff so yeah um i just wanted to upload this in case you are going out or you know house hopping for your plates or whatever you know you can have you a nice beat and this is like a cute little hairdo that i didn't put together so yeah if y'all want to see how i got this look then just keep on watching and also I will have all the details to this wig in the description box down below. Thanks to I Love Hair for sponsoring this video and yeah without further ado let's go ahead and hop into this video. Okay y'all so I have already like did most of the prepping and I don't know what's going on. I think I'm having like a oh y'all can't even see it but if y'all were to see it I think I'm having a large reaction on my hand. I don't know but yeah I've already unplugged the wig or whatever. I did a real natural type of hairline this time. I didn't do all the like plucking that I usually do. So it looks really, really natural. I like it so far. <laughs> I'm actually really loving this week so far, actually. Just period all around. So what I'm about to do now is just cut, you know, by the ears. See how low I need to cut. And I like to do like kind of a slant so that it's not just straight because I like my edges to come down like a little bit past my ears. Okay, so I'm gonna cut right here. Okay, so now that side is done, I'm gonna just do the other side the same exact way. I feel like I haven't had no straight or body weight type of hair in so long. Now that that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the rest of the lace that's like up around here. Oh, and this little piece. Okay, so now I'm gonna just cut off this front part. Let this cut off. I'm gonna just pull everything back to the front like it was. This side, I think I want to pluck um, a little bit more actually. So I'm gonna just take my tweezer and just pluck it a bit. Okay, so that's different. I did the middle first instead of doing the sides because I don't want to get those little ridges. And I think that's way better doing it like that because I don't see any ridges so far. The little like spaces where it'd be like a little bit too big in the area. So yeah.
hear you. that is done um basically i just plug in my hot comb back in so that we can move on into like styling it or whatever but first what i'm about to do is just go ahead and do my um edges my gel even though i really no, not gel. I'm gonna use my edge control. So I'm gonna use the edge because it's like with these, like I can control it. But I need something else. Like if y'all know any other like gels that are like loose and not like stuck together that I can use, please, please, pretty please, let me know. Cause I like using gel better than foam because since I don't use glue, like the foam makes it just like my lace actually come up. A piece coming up Okay, y'all, so I finished the edges. When I get done, of course, I'm going to go back and, you know, fix them or whatever. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and lay them down and start styling. Okay, y'all, so now that it's laid down, I'm just going to hot comb this and try to make it flat up here. Not, like, all the way flat, though, because, like, I want volume. So, really just back there in the back is what I'm really focusing on right here where it's like popping up for some reason Budge. <laughs> oh well, y'all see that I know y'all see that like that's how hot this freaking hot comb is y'all okay so 
I'm gonna go ahead. I'm not, I'm gonna cut the layers in it, but if y'all have watched like the rest of my videos, then y'all know that usually when I have this kind of hair and I'm doing like the layers and curls, I cut so many layers, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm actually just gonna cut one um, like straight down from the front to the back. Okay. So I'm just going to comb the hair like straight down, take my scissors and just go straight down. wig is from all love hair or i don't know if they call themselves all love or a love but um this is their i think it's a 24 inch body wave wig i'm pretty sure it looks like 24 inches to me because it can't be 20 to 22 a little bit too short but of course i will have i'll probably put the exact um link on the screen and then you know the links and everything will be in the description box but if i'm wrong and it's not 24 i'll like correct myself on the screen um so y'all yeah, don't have to worry about that but so far i'm really liking it this lace is real like really to me the most important part on wigs for me is usually the lace and um sometimes the hair sometimes the hair can be like a bit like rough and thick and I don't like that, but so far I'm loving this hair. It's curling up really good. Now when I say it's curling up really good, it wanna not curl just then. Five. So you definitely want a wig that's giving you scalp vibes and it's not like gray or anything or like look dusty and ashy. That's really important. So this wig is getting a 10 out of 10 for me, honey. But I'm going to go ahead and finish curling my hair. And I will talk to you guys when we get to the makeup portion. Okay, y'all. So I'm done curling my hair now. I did the other side off camera and now i'm gonna just take this off so that i can start on my makeup y'all know i don't do my makeup with uh my like band thing on because i don't be wanting you know some of my hair in the front like you don't want the front to not have no um what i'm trying to say to not have no um makeup on it yeah that's what i'm trying to say so yeah once i'm done i'm gonna go back and you know fix my hair up or whatever like it's supposed to be but for right now i'm gonna go ahead and start on my makeup so i'm gonna take a little cotton pad or cotton oval whatever you want to call it and just go over my eyebrows really quick with some alcohol because i find that when my eyebrows are like all the way dry you know like my application with my eyebrow products goes on like way better. Okay, so those are sitting there. I really wish that like y'all could really tell what it looks like for real, for real. Cause this camera kind of be washing me out well not camera y'all know i'll be filming on my phone but maybe when i start filming on my camera 
y'all gonna be able to see for real for real because i just feel like it don't be doing it don't be doing me no justice i know it don't be doing me no justice and please don't mind my lashes y'all i talked about this in the last video i don't know what's going on with the other eye so don't ask yeah that's why i'm using i think this is the reason why i didn't use this powder because this is way too messy uh i like the patterns that be having like the little circles on the top so that it's like it kind of controls how much comes out but this right here like it just be going everywhere every single time i open it and so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna be using this same um patricia bright palette that i used in my last video but i'm gonna be using different colors okay so i'm gonna take this palette but i'm also gonna take i want to use this So I'm gonna be taking this, um, like it's a brownish color kind of, but it's like, I think it has like more of a like reddish undertone. It's called All Spice. And I'm gonna put that over here, like towards the crease area. it just makes it looks like it really looks a hot mess on camera but i promise y'all i'm gonna probably like take a video and stuff when i'm done doing it just to show y'all what it's really looking like because on camera it just be looking like uh, it looks a hot mess which i'm not no makeup artist so i mean it probably y'all are gonna be like i don't know but it just look better than it look like how it look right now Oh yeah, so the eyes are done. So now I'm just gonna move on into my face. And of course, I'm gonna go ahead and prime first. So I'm going in with my Fenty foundation. So I'm gonna let this sit for a second and then I will go back in to blend it out. Okay, so it's been sitting for a minute, so I'm gonna go ahead and begin to blend it out. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my powder. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and um, bronze my face up. That is my favorite part. If you didn't know by now, 
Oh, I'm running out. It's time for some more. Then I'm going to contour my nose. What I do is, um, I actually kind of need to blend out this edge over here a little bit more. Yeah. Make that a little bit more sharp. Ooh. That's another one of my favorite parts. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on a brown liner. Oh, I'm almost out. I need to wipe off this Vaseline because I have on Vaseline on my lips. I instead because I just can't I just you can do I don't know y'all should I do a dark lip I haven't did a dark lip in like so long mm. let's see I'm scared <laughs> So we're gonna stick with our neutral like we usually do. So I'm just take this um, concealer in the shade Pure Beige and I'm gonna just put this on my lip. to run my hands wait is there makeup on my hand yeah hold on <laughs> i'm gonna be so mad i'm gonna just run my hands through my curls just to loosen them up a bit Oh, that is so pretty. Yeah. Let me turn the light down and then maybe y'all can see it a little bit better. Just a little bit. Oh my God, this is so pretty, y'all. This is so pretty. Yeah. Thanksgiving vibes, period. Cause you know you can't go to the Thanksgiving dinner not giving, you know? You gotta give, okay? Give looks, period. Oh, this is so cute, y'all.